I win. Hey, Teresa G coming in from her cluttered kitchen. And uh, today I am giving you a twofer. Two videos in one. Tip Tuesday and a Wegmans slash Aldi haul. Um, I did not give you an, a Tip Tuesday last week because I recorded it and it just didn't fit in with the timing that I was going to put it in. And so um, it will wait until the end of this month when it fits better and then you will see it. Uh, so, in, so for right now we have Tip Tuesday and it's all about making it easier to cook long skinny pasta in your Instant Pot. I know sometimes it could be a bit of a pain because, you know, you open up the box and then you got to figure out how much you want to grab and how much you're going to grab and then you got to break it in half and whatever. It's a bit of a pain. I've come up with a semi-solution to part of that. Um, and then we will have our haul. Um, I only go to Wegmans maybe twice a year, sometimes three, usually before a big holiday. There are only certain things I can find there. Just like Trader Joe's and Aldi, some items are just their own and they can't be found anywhere else. Well, it's the same thing with Wegmans. There are certain things I buy there that I do not buy anywhere else. So I wanted to pick up a few things and so I thought I would uh, show you. All right, so we're going to start with Tip Tuesday, cooking spaghetti or long skinny pasta this is linguine or thin linguine all right i've been having the biggest pain trying to break it or trying to get it out of here you know trying to measure it and whatever i figured out a great thing you have a glass then you have an easy way of doing this all right you pour the pasta into the glass okay all right well it's coming out the side but anyway you get the idea Okay, you put it in the glass. Okay, it's in the glass. All right, and then what you do is you grab a handful. And now you can break it, right? Because you can see how much you have. When it's in the box, you can't see how much you're really grabbing, okay? Now with spaghetti, you have to break it. I know it's an anti, I know the Italians have a serious thing about breaking the pasta but it's the only way to cook it in an Instant Pot because you can't just leave it standing up and then lock it, all right? You can't watch the pasta cook. You can't make sure that it's all covered with water, whatever. So you have to break it, okay? So, okay, one is getting a handful big enough or whatever to do this, all right? The other is to put it in, this is the way so that it doesn't stick, okay? You're gonna put it in one way than the other. All right. All right. And then, all right, that way. Okay. Then you're going to fill it with water. Okay. Now, if you're going to be using sauce, if you're going to be cooking it in the sauce, then only fill it about halfway to the middle of your pasta. Okay. But, if you're not, if you're just cooking the pasta, okay, then cover it with water. Then sprinkle in a little salt, right, because you have to cook pasta in salt, salted water. Otherwise, you can't flavor. Otherwise, you're not flavoring it, okay? And then cover it, okay? Now, that's, remember, if you're cooking it without sauce on top, then fill it all the way until it's all totally coated in water, not above. If you're cooking it with the sauce, then cook it, then put about, all right, that was about two cups of water, all right, because this is half a, not, not even half a box, okay, just to show you. Okay, if it's a full box, then it's usually about four cups of water. If you're cooking it in just the water and then saucing it after, okay, if you're cooking it in the sauce, then put about half of that. So for this one, that would be a cup of water and then the sauce. Otherwise, you will um, water down the sauce. And uh, if, you, if you fill it all the way, if you cover it completely with water and then put the sauce on, the sauce will be watered down. It'll be useless, okay? So 
make sure that if you're just cooking the pasta straight, that you cover it almost to the top with water. Do not mix it. And then lock the lid, press pressure cook, and the amount of time, okay? If you're cooking it in the sauce, then do half the amount of water, cover it with sauce, make sure it's totally coated in sauce. Do not mix it, lock it, and cook it, okay? So for this one, for right now, and it doesn't matter how much pasta is in there, if it's skinny pasta, I usually go with one minute, okay? So pressure cook down to one and just leave it. Make sure this is sealed, okay? And that's that, okay? So that's your tips, okay? Make sure you put it in a cup. Open up your box and put it in a cup, all right? That way you can easily access it to break it and put it in. Otherwise, it's very hard to tell how much you're holding, okay? There's our tips. For Tip Tuesday, okay? Now, here's our haul, okay? I went to Wegmans. I went to Aldi. And I picked up a couple things for gifts from Starbucks, okay? All right, so I guess we'll start with Starbucks. All right, we went into Starbucks, just the usual Starbucks. I've been wanting to get um, these for gifts and they happen to be on sale this week, okay? I think it was like $5.79, $5.89 or something for a four pack of peppermint uh, latte, right? It's the peppermint uh, mocha, okay? And because one packet in with your gift or as a stocking stuffer, it's a wonderful stocking stuffer, okay? So I got those. Um, last time I was in LD, I went looking for these they're basically like, um, oh, you know, like those little mint candies, all right? But they're uh, little baking chips for cookies because I want to make a dark chocolate cookie with peppermint uh, to make them sort of like uh, peppermint bark, but in a cookie. Uh, so I got this for like $1.69 for a bag. And it is 10 ounces. Most bags of uh, chips these days is 10 ounces, unfortunately. It used to be a pound. Then they cut it down to 12 ounces. Now it's 10 ounces. What are you going to do? Um, I got a couple of um, avocados that are pretty hard. But I'm going to put them in the window for a few days. And then they'll be ready for avocado toast or for tacos. And Steve wanted to get a couple of bananas. Okay. And then the Wegmans. I went there mainly for dried mushrooms and interesting fresh mushrooms. But I also know that their brand uh, makes uh, chopped, roasted chopped poblanos in a can. And they make, other than chipotle in adobo, they make other kinds of chilies in adobo. Um, and I wanted to try uh, the guajillo. So I bought it, but they also have Ancho and I think um, a couple of others, All right? So I went with the uh, Guajillo in adobo. And then I saw this Peruvian marinade that has Aji Amarillo in it, which I love and I used to grow. And also some other kind of um, Peruvian chili. Uh, we're gonna try that on some chicken this week. And I'm gonna cook the chicken with my crisp lid to see how that goes. Uh, to continue the experimentation with the crisp lid. I also know that they have a, a very large Asian aisle. Um, I was able to get udon noodles, something I cannot get anywhere around here. Um, I can't get the uh, rice noodles either, except I think like those small boxes. I didn't want the small boxes. I wanted a nice big size. Uh, so I got the rice sticks and I got like what I call, well, they call them Bon, they call, well, I guess these are um, Vietnamese, uh, but they like the Thai Pad Thai noodles. They're Bon, bon Pha, they're for uh, Pha soup, um, but I'm going to use them in like a uh, Thai style stir fry, um, so I'm going to get that. And then I have me passing this by. I needed uh, chopped up peppermint bark. I mean, peppermint uh, candies for the peppermint bark because as you can tell my old jar is um, a little stuck uh, so I did not have to go to Marshall's they had them 
So, and a nice big thing of them too. Okay, so now I'm ready for peppermint bark. Yay. Okay. And then I saw these heirloom tomatoes. I thought it would be nice to have either tomatoes on a sa on a sandwich or maybe to make another heirloom tomato salad. Uh, I know it's off season, but they were too pretty to leave. And I was looking for dried por porcini uh, for when we entertain because I'm going to make fresh pasta with a black truffle Alfredo sauce. And I wanted to cover it with a saute of different kinds of mushrooms. So I got some mayatake, which are hen of the woods. Uh, and I'm going to um, roast them a little bit, I think. And then brown them a little bit if they don't brown enough to add to some dried mushrooms. And so I got morels, which I never see. And I also noticed something. I don't know if this is happening with all the dried mushrooms out there, whether Melissa's or any of the other brands that are out there. They usually come in one ounce packages. They're only selling them in half ounce packages for the same price. So I got morels only because I can't uh, find morels anywhere. And I'm going to add them to the large container with the um, other kinds of mushrooms in it. And um, use some of that in my mixture over the pasta. So I wanted to get these. That was the main reason for going there. Uh, was this and this. Okay? So that's my little haul. It's not a very big haul, but it's a haul. Um, and... Uh, of course, Tip Tuesday, pasta in the Instant Pot. I hope that you found those tips helpful and interesting and possibly new. Um, and I hope that they help you. That's the most important part. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you did. And of course, subscribe, press the little bell, share the videos, and come back again to Reese's Cluttered Kitchen. Bye.